Hello everybody, I'm on my way to Value Village in Glendale, Arizona to see what I can find to sell online for a profit. I'm an online reseller that sells things mainly on eBay. Let's go see what we can find. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my video guys. Today's going to be a long one so get a cup of coffee and relax. I found these beautiful vintage hand painted little mugs and saucers. I put them up for $44.50. We'll see what happens with those. They are so pretty with the cobalt blue and red and gold. Just beautiful. And it looks like somebody donated their whole chicken, wooden chicken collection. These are like folk art wood. Um, they weren't on sale today, but I'm thinking about going back Thursday and getting these because that color will be on sale that day. These are very collectible and people like to decorate their homes and kitchens with those. Here I'm looking on top of the shelf and I saw this pottery piece. The glazing on this was absolutely amazing. It wasn't on sale today, so I ended up passing on that. Could these be glassy baby? No. Darn, they're Mikasa glass. But actually these have a pretty good sell through rate. And there is three of them and they were a very good price. So definitely getting these. I could probably sell the three for about $30. So that's pretty good. I saw these candle sticks up here that were very beautiful and delicate looking. They were not on sale today, so I passed on those. They were only $4.99 a piece, but they weren't marked or anything, so I passed on those. And then I spotted up on the top shelf these recycled glass, Mexican recycled glass glasses they were very pretty and they were 75% off that day so I don't know why I didn't get them maybe I just didn't want to deal with it and this trinket dish is so pretty it's like a frosted green definitely picked this up I saw these two Bailey's clear glass liquor glasses. They really aren't worth that much. Maybe I shouldn't got, have got them, but $13 plus shipping is pretty good for me. And please let me know if you like long thrifting videos or if you'd rather me keep them short. I love thrifting and I love to film as I thrift and show you guys. This was an Avon candle holder. I thought it was Scentsy, but it was not. And I saw this absolutely adorable ceramic or pottery duck up here. I didn't get that today, but I just wanted to show you guys how cute it was, even though you couldn't really see it because it was out of the frame. But look at this absolutely amazing vintage oak wood vanity mirror. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It was not on sale today, so I passed on that today. But I think that color is going to be going on sale Thursday. And these beautiful pedestal teacups made in Japan were just absolutely beautiful. And I saw this um, German mug Stein. I don't know much too much about that, so I didn't pick that up. And then I looked up and saw these beautiful butterfly pictures. There was a set of four. They're vintage, they're numbered on the back, beautifully framed. I did not pick these up today, but that color is going to be going on sale Thursday, so I'm 
going to go back Thursday and if they're still there pick them up at that time saw these moose drool barware glasses I looked them up on eBay and they were not going for very much so I left those behind could this be glassy baby oh no not glassy baby <laughs> maybe someday I'm gonna find it and then I spotted this beautiful vase up here. It's clear glass with a gold swirl in it. It was pretty. Then I spotted this ornament, this cross stitch, do it yourself ornament. It was brand new in the package. I looked up comps. It goes for around $25 to $30. Okay, let's look through the toys and plush. I'm really enjoying looking through the plush. There's, there could be some really valuable plush to be found. Um, so I always take a look at the plush when I go into thrift stores. I'm looking for things that are unique and a lot of times you need to look up plush like because you'll be amazed how much some of these go for. And this was a cute plush. He was a Coles Cares plush. I didn't know too much about what action figure this guy was, so I just left that one behind. And I did find a couple Care Bears, but the tag was on the other tag and I couldn't read the date, so I left those too. This one plush caught my attention. This one was from Carnival Cruise Line. I put him in my cart, but I ended up looking him up and he really wasn't worth that much. So I ended up putting him back today. Look at this face. Oh my gosh. It's a vintage 1980s Dakin monkey. New with tags. Definitely picked him up. And this little section here were the scarf section, and this is a silk scarf, 100% silk scarf. Look at the print on this. I think the print is going to totally sell this scarf. So I ended up getting this, I think it was $2.99. And here I'm looking for more. This one was really pretty, but it was $6.99. I wasn't going to pay $6.99 today. So don't ever skip the scarf section because in a minute I'm going to show you a bolo scarf that I found. This one was really pretty, but the brand was wasn't worth that much but the graphic was really pretty okay wait for it it's coming up this floral scarf right here a black one sold i'm going to insert a screenshot this is ralph lauren and it's 100 percent silk and look at ivory vintage floral it looks cottage core and it's vintage and it has everything going for it. So I definitely picked that up today. And then I saw this really beautiful boho chic looking belt, real leather. The buckle says made in USA. So I picked this up today. Here I'm going through another little trinket and figurine section and in a minute here, right here, I spot these Tanala plates, a whole set of them, Mexican pottery. They were all in almost perfect condition except for one. One had a tiny little chip on the corner. So, for the price, 
that price is just amazing for these i think i'm going to list these for 25 dollars a piece they are so pretty an excellent score for today i'm very happy with these this was a hand painted wooden bowl and it had the original sticker on the back and it was 75 percent off i put that in my cart but then I noticed one of the little legs was missing look at these cute little owls they're made of cement they're very 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 heavy and then I spotted this very colorful purse it looks like it was made in Mexico like a tourist little shop had this. I was looking inside to see if it was branded or anything. I didn't see a brand, so I ended up putting this back. I mean, if it would have said made in Mexico, I probably would have got it. So I just wanted to show you this vintage Lee denim jacket, Norton patch amazingness right here this is so beautiful but it was way too expensive today hopefully it'll be on sale Thursday and then I saw these gray uh, salt and pepper shakers the pepper is a grinder and the salt is a shaker so those are coming with me and then I spotted up here this Harry Potter mug brand new in the package so I think I'll do pretty good with this all any new items and Christmas is coming up soon so I'm hoping I'll do pretty good with this one and then I spotted these clear plates over here they were very delicate looking and they were so light when I picked them up and they have sort of like an an etched glass in them very pretty I didn't pick those up today they were a dollar a piece and there was about eight of them there and guys please don't forget to hit the like button and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and over here I'm looking at the clothing and I spotted this beautiful embroidered and those buttons are just amazing this is a vintage embroidered jacket and it's made in India, so definitely pick that up. Okay, this plate here, I picked it up and it reminds me of something, like I've seen puzzles or something with that design on it. If any of you guys know, will you let me know in the comments below? And over here is where they have their figurines and little treasures to look at. And I saw this paperweight up here and it had a flower etched in it. I don't know why I didn't get that one because it wasn't very much and I should have picked that up, but I didn't. And then I saw this beautiful piece of art that a child did and made for his mother. Um, I'm not sure who would have got rid of this. It's just absolutely adorable. He even signed their name on there. <laughs> then I spotted this beautiful pottery piece up here. It sort of looks like a beehive style and it looks sort of bohemian. It has a flower on it and the handle is made out of bamboo and the price was great so I picked that up for sure here's a little Avon piece and then up here I spotted this music box it's a Christmas music box it's made out of resin Today I passed on this. It was just too much for me today. It was $6.99. But I did pick up this. It's a Eagle Head paperweight. And I think 
two days. This, the yellow was half off, so that was only like a dollar fifty. Oh my gosh, this ginger jar is so pretty. The colors on this is just absolutely amazing. And it is the red pottery and it, I believe it's hand painted and I definitely picked that up and it's listed in my store and this piece here this little little sandwich trivet tray or trinket dish I picked this one up as well I thought that that glowed but it did not glow And then over here I spotted this blue vase. It's so pretty. It looks like the glass looks like it's recycled glass, but I don't think it was. They had it marked at $6.99, and just because I really do not know much about that, I left that behind today. And then I looked down and I spotted this shirt here. It looked so pretty and it looked like silk. And when I read the tag, it's silk. It's a silk blend and that color was half off today. And it's a very unique shirt with the mandarin collar. And I know that I could get at least $30 for this with the, the bright colorful design. And it sort of has a Asian inspired look to it. Very, very pretty. And then up here on the top I saw this miniature ginger jar. And it has birds on the front and it's crackled. It has a crackle finish to it. I didn't look this up at the time, but when I got home with it and when I went to list it, it they aren't worth very much, but I just thought it was very pretty and so I'm stuck with it. I hope it sells. <laughs> so that just goes to show you, you've got to look up everything. This store usually has all their artwork up on the top there. You have to go get an employee to get it down for you, which they are very nice and always helpful and always get the items down for me. This wooden trinket box was really pretty. And here I'm taking a quick look at the 90s and the negligees, see if there's anything vintage. And up here I spotted these little cups and saucers. They were ambassador wear and I totally picked these up. These were 75% off today, so I didn't spend that much for them and I think that I can flip these for a pretty good price. And the colors on this piece are very pretty and I turned it over and it says made in Italy so it's an Italian vase and it's very colorful. Definitely picked that up. And what else can we find today? Ooh, yes. These have been here for a while and they finally went on sale for 75% off. They're by a brand named Hosley Potteries. And I looked these up and these, I could fetch quite a pretty penny for these. The set I am going to sell for $98 plus shipping. And I think somebody will enjoy this planter set. 
And this was so interesting. It's a liquor bottle, empty of course, but it's in the shape as a cat. I've never seen this before. I thought it was pretty interesting. I looked it up though, and they do not go for very much. So I didn't get those. This is a sheet and a pillowcase set. I didn't know the pillowcase was in there. I just thought it was a vintage sheet. And these can sell for pretty good money, the vintage sheet sets. So I'm gonna put $25 on that. I'm looking through these Hawaiian shirts here. And this is a really good brand called Kalahio, made in Hawaii, vintage. It's USA made and it's in really good condition. So I definitely picked this up. And here I got my black light out and I'm checking to see if these items glow. Unfortunately, they did not. So I decided to look on the shelves and kind of see if anything glowed under the black light. Didn't find any glowy glass today. This is supposedly a Prada purse but you can tell by the not so good quality that it is fake. I am almost done with this video. Thank you all so much for sticking around. So I'm back home now. I spent about $77, but I got such amazing things. You guys saw everything that I got, everything that I put in my cart, I bought. So there's no need to do a haul. Thank you all so much for watching my video and until the next one, get out there and fly into profits guys. I'll see you on the next one.